The Sheriff's Office would create and host the registry on our website and we would link our registry to other registries that already exist to be used as informational resources by animal shelters, pet sellers, and others when they sell, exchange, or otherwise transfer the ownership of an animal. A person found guilty of an animal abuse crime would be required to provide their name, their date of birth, address, and a photo for inclusion on the registry. And they would be required to notify us of an address change and or a name change. Those on the registry would be forbidden from possessing, owning, adopting, or purchasing an animal for a defined period of time. The second part of this registry would require animal shelters, pet sellers, or others involved in the sale, exchange, and transfer of ownership of an animal to check the registry to ensure the person is not on that registry. And there would be penalties for not adhering to the requirements of being on the registry, for being convicted of additional crimes under this section, and for failing to check the registry. I would, use, I would loosely use the analogy of the sex offender registry that we have here in New York State, because they also are, have requirements of being on that registry, with the purpose being for others in our community to check, to make sure that we know who sex offenders are that are living in our community. And I think it's also important that we have the means to check to find out who are abusing our animals in our community, for they are certainly without a voice.